Anti-Islam activist Tommy Robinson has provoked outrage after wading into the refugee bullying scandal by accusing the victim of attacking a girl before he was waterboarded. A video of a schoolboy pouring water over the face of a Syrian child refugee in Huddersfield provoked outrage when it was shared online this week. English Defence League founder Robinson recently made an advisor to UCUP, has now claimed the boy who was bullied on the school field had himself attacked a white girl. But as incendiary claims have caused anger, with others insisting the girl's mother has already denied the young refugee was involved. Robinson was yesterday accused of having influenced the bully after it emerged the boy had shared his Facebook posts. The 36-year-old today told his followers that he had received messages from a mother from the area who claimed the bullied boy got involved in an attack on her daughter. But other Facebook users shared images of messages in which the girl's mother denied the Syrian boy was involved in the attack and her message to Robinson had been misunderstood. The woman behind the claims appears to have since removed her account from Facebook. Share this article share in a separate post, Robinson shared a message apparently from the bully's brother, also claiming the refugee boy had himself bullied a girl, hitting her with a hockey stick. Critics accused Robinson of stirring up hate and division with his online comments, with another saying the activist was trying to make the country hate a child. It comes after West Yorkshire police said that a 16-year-old has been interviewed over the attack on the refugee boy and reported for summons for an offense of assault ahead of a youth court appearance. The boy was questioned by police over the footage in which the 15-year-old victim, with his arm in a cast, is thrown to the ground. The video shows the refugee boy being dragged to the floor by his neck before his attacker says, I'll drown you and forces a water bottle into his mouth. ITV News reported the victim fled war-torn homes with his family and now feels unsafe going to the school following the incident last month. I woke up at night and just started crying about this problem. They think I'm different different from them. He told the broadcaster. I don't feel safe at school. Sometimes I say to my dad, I don't want to go to school anymore. I was just crying, and I didn't do nothing, because I respect the school rules. Supporters say they are organizing a peaceful protest outside the school on Thursday. He appears not to have been the only victim, with a fresh video emerging of a hijab-wearing girl pushed down a grass verge and shoved by a group. The family's lawyer, Tasno Mukunji, said it is the boy's 14-year-old sister, and she was attacked on Tuesday morning. West Yorkshire Police said, We have been made aware of a video showing a girl being assaulted at Almondbury Community School yesterday, 27 11th. The incident had not previously been reported to the police, but we are now liaising with the girl's family who we are continuing to support. Anyone who witnessed the incident, or who has any information that could assist the investigation is asked to contact Kirkley's District SID via 101. The first incident's alleged perpetrator has been the subject of hundreds of violent threats online. A Facebook account believed to belong to him features numerous posts shared from the page of Robinson. One of those posts, apparently referencing comments by Boris Johnson about Muslim women wearing veils, read, should Britain ban letterboxes because of all the trouble they're causing Robinson was jailed for contempt of court earlier this year after posting videos about a child grooming trial involving a group of Asian men from Huddersfield. He was later freed on appeal.